first ghost video was captured some time ago, but has recently resurfaced on Reddit. The uploader says that the following video was captured by a friend of his, who installed CCTV cameras after being disturbed by terrifying noises outside his property for several nights in a row. Two weeks after this footage was captured, the uploader's friend sadly passed away due to unknown circumstances. The footage you're about to see was recorded by a CCTV camera pointing towards his friend's driveway. white figure can be seen moving from right to left before completely vanishing out of sight. Many agree that this is a chilling example of the paranormal, citing the figure's movement, blurriness and sudden disappearance as both authentic and creepy. Some point out the possibility of it being edited, but the OP states that his friend was an older gentleman and not the most tech savvy, so it would be highly unlikely that he would have been able to alter the video. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera and could it be the reason for the old man mysteriously passing away two weeks later? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. This next clip comes from the subreddit Unexplained, but was originally uploaded to TikTok by a user named Real Life Sarah 918 when she was on holiday at the Crescent Hotel in Arkansas, USA. The Crescent Hotel, built in 1886, has a long history with the paranormal and, apparently, is host to numerous spirits, both good and bad. During the 1930s, the hotel also became an experimental cancer hospital. Guests have heard the cries of a falling man in the ceiling and experienced doors opening then slamming shut. Some of the ghosts are apparently friendly as well, with some reportedly playing tricks on guests and staff by moving their possessions and decorations around. The following is a clip of a member of staff speaking about one of the hauntings at the Crescent Hotel and then what follows is truly creepy. Okay, so this video I'm about to show you it was from a guest who was staying here a couple years ago and she was at the bar talking to oh my god stage fright and everything bar talking to the bartender they built up a, a rapport and she was waiting to get checked into her room there was two ladies they went and got checked in there was snapchat in the room and it wasn't in the snapchat they saw the ghost it was as it was replaying and they took it up here and showed jay and he was taken back he even called the front desk to see how long they'd been checked in and to see if anybody else was with them and it was just the two of them. They'd been checking for like 20 minutes. And yeah, so it's been a good video. Hotel in America and my nightstand on the creepy door is my eyes just so early bedtime looking for ghosts. Did you catch that? Something dressed in white quickly zooms past the camera, but what was it? Redditors of the subreddit Unexplained have been fighting in the comments on just what on earth this is. Many agree with the OP that this is a quote, child ghost caught on video in Crescent Hotel, highlighting that these fleeting apparitions are well documented throughout paranormal research. Take this next clip for example, which shows a patient in a hospital room when something is caught on camera.
again. A small dark figure flashes past the camera. As the camera panned around before and after, showing it was empty, it seems that the figure both appeared and disappeared out of nowhere. So what do you make of these captures given that they are very similar? Are they paranormal? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This next clip was taken somewhere in Japan and shows a family of three in a car at a car wash. The father records his wife in the driver's seat and their son in the back and someone else. Did you see it? When the camera pans to the back, a transparent figure of a child can be seen sitting on the supposed unoccupied seat, staring menacingly at the family's son, who is completely unaware to whoever or whatever this is. And when the camera pans back, there's no transparent figure. At the time, even the father didn't see it, but when he reviewed the footage, he was understandably shocked by what he saw. The family believed that a demon has attached itself to their son and viewers of this video agree. But what do you make of this unsettling clip? Let me know. Uploaded to TikTok back in 2021 by user Lian1818, this clip has left viewers horrified. Seeing her son happily playing outside, she decides to record the moment to add to their collection of happy memories. But what happens next is something Lian just can't explain. Leanne's son throws a toy in the distance, but then he seems to focus on something we can't see. Then suddenly he's pushed to the floor by some invisible force. This clip shocked TikTok viewers, sparking numerous discussions in the comments. The majority believe that Leanne's son was pushed by something only he could see. And unfortunately, Leanne's problems in the house do not end here, as when recording her son playing in the living room, she captures another creepy incident. Leanne's son's attention is suddenly drawn behind him and he can be heard saying, who's that? Then he suddenly spins back around as if something just touched him on his back. The video then ends there. Unfortunately for Leanne and her family, these were not the only ghostly problems they experienced in this house. Since moving into the house, Leanne had been having terrible nightmares involving a mysterious man. After several unexplained incidents happened in the house, Leanne went and asked her neighbor if they knew anything about the house's past and what they told her was truly chilling. The previous neighbours had also had similar paranormal experiences which had resulted in them selling the house. The neighbours also showed Leanne a photograph and to her horror it was the very same man that she had been having nightmares about. Apparently this man who had been visiting her at night had passed away in tragic circumstances in her house many years ago. Leanne decided enough was enough and within seven and a half months of moving in, they packed up their belongings and left the house for good. TikTok viewers were left horrified by these credible clips uploaded in 2021 by Leanne. Many believe that the footage she captured is real and it's a good job they packed up and left when they did. But what do you think is going on here? Use the comments to share your thoughts. 
This next clip comes from the subreddit Ghosts and has racked up almost 7,000 upvotes. The uploader says that, quote, This video was filmed by a friend of my friend's brother a few years back. In the left corner of the video, you can see a figure dressed in white with black hair crawling out from under the trampoline. To this day, we have no idea who the person was. Is the video. Did you spot it? A white figure with dark hair slowly crawls out from under the trampoline before mysteriously fading into thin air. The clip, which was originally recorded on Snapchat, cuts out suddenly due to Snapchat's time restriction on clip recordings. To this day, the uploader and his friends have no idea who this is and neither do redditors in the ghosts subreddit the translucent figure crawling out from under the trampoline remains a mystery but what do you think is this a ghost caught on camera or something else let me know in the comments Marcus Garcia, a car garage owner based in Chile, uploaded this creepy footage which he says is 100% real. Marcus, who lives on the property adjacent to his car garage, says that late one night, a wrecked car was brought into the garage after a terrible accident the night before. The next day, Marcus noticed that one of his employees, Juan, was speaking very loudly and having an in-depth conversation with someone. However, disturbingly, nobody was on sight other than Juan. Concerned about Juan, Marcus looks at the live CCTV footage of the garage on his phone and sees something which has left him lost for words. Estoy revisando por la cámara del taller de mi, de mi teléfono, estoy en mi casa. Y este maestro está hablando solo. No cacho qué onda. La verdad que no cacho qué onda. No, está hablando solo. Lo voy a preguntar por cámara. ¿Qué está haciendo? A ver, vamos a preguntar. ¿Aló? Oye, disculpa, pero ¿con quién, ¿con quién estás hablando? Con Don Carlos, de, 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 pasando el presupuesto y explicando el tema de, de la gente que tuvo anoche que en la carretera. Eso me está viendo el presupuesto y estoy Oye. lo que le estoy diciendo. Oye, cálmate, 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 cálmate. No, ¿Qué, Don Carlos? Hablando, pero, no, oye, no, escúchame, no, escúchame un poquito. ¿Tú me, estás hablando, ¿Tú me estás hablando del accidente de anoche? Juan, me estáis hueyando, ¿cierto? No, pues si te contó Carlos aquí, po. Me estoy explicando Oye, podéis, su podéis subir. ¿Sabéis qué? Oye, no es que no estáis hablando con nadie, viejo. No puede ser, pues yo tengo el caballo aquí, aquí al frente mío, po. No estás hablando con nadie, Juan, y ayer los que chocaron murieron todos. ¿Qué te decía? ¿Te con los caballos? Juan, no estás con nadie. Sube y ven a ver las cámaras. Tengo todo grabado. No, pero no sé si por cabrón. Sube, viejo. Sube, vente al tiro, vente al tiro, vente al tiro. Si estáis sin na no estás con nadie, Juan. Viejo, no, te estoy, te estoy, tengo grabado, vente por favor, vente. On the live feed, Marcus sees Juan having a real conversation, but nobody else is there with him. Worried that Juan might be losing his mind, he calls him and asks who is he speaking to. Juan says that he could see Mr. Carlos right in front of him and that he was asking for an estimate cost for the destroyed vehicle that came in the night before. But there's no Mr. Carlos seen on the camera. Juan did not know that Terrifyingly, none of the passengers in the car had survived, and what's even creepier is that one of the passengers was called Mr. Carlos. Garage owner Marcus is shocked and asks Juan to come and see the footage that proves he was not speaking to anyone. And still, to this day, Juan swears that he was speaking to a man that was standing directly in front of him named Mr. Carlos, the same name as one of the passengers who tragically passed away in the accident. So was Juan speaking to a ghost? Comment and let me know. 
final ghost video for today comes from the Japanese ghost hunter channel, Kurashiro. Shiro and his friend Tei venture out to an abandoned and supposedly haunted hospital in an attempt to capture paranormal activity on camera. The abandoned hospital, situated high up in a set of mountains, was said to have been destroyed by a typhoon in 1982. Rumour has it that the ghost of a woman inhabits the building, particularly in room 208. When the duo arrive, they set out to explore the dilapidated building, but not before setting up a night vision camera directly outside room 208 in the hopes of capturing any ghostly activity. While Shiro and Tay are elsewhere exploring the hotel, the static camera left outside room 208 captures something which has left their viewers spooked. Did you see that? Behind the broken screen door, something can be seen moving in the darkness. This footage was not seen until later on when the ghost hunters watched it back. And unfortunately for Tay, who at the time was unaware to what the static camera captured, the tension did not end there for him. The ghost hunters decide to split up. Tay chooses to stay inside the haunted room 208 upstairs, while Shiro explores elsewhere in the building. While terrified on his own, up in room Room 208, Tay encounters something which made his blood run cold. As Ghost Hunter Tay is calling out, some sort of dark shadow appears to reach out and touch him, but Tay says he didn't see anyone. Feeling creeped out, Tay flees the room in terror. Then, caught on the static camera pointing to the door of room 208, something white, which Kuroshiro's viewers believe is a ghost, appears to follow Tay out of the door of the haunted room. When the paranormal investigators got home and reviewed the footage, they were creeped out. They and their viewers believe that they caught the infamous ghost that resides in room 208. But what do you think? Did Shiro and Tay capture a ghost on camera? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.